Okay, part two testimony. So that customer came in to pick up a $1 item. I said I haven't tested it. So let me just give you two. You can still just pay me $1. Both of them work. Great for you. If one of them doesn't work, or both of them don't work, just come back and uh, I'll get you another one. And she paid me $5. She said, this is for the business. <laughs> she came around, she was like, oh my gosh, you got all kinds of stuff. I'm coming back for a sewing machine and a drone. So that was cool. Um, let me continue on this eBay testimony. Sorry, I got a little distracted there. But the gist of it is you make some money within that month or within that week that you would have had to wait, you know, maybe a year or two to make that money. Because, again, like with Food Savers, for example, or like these... Uh, you know, all the things I've talked about so far. Like, if I sell one per week in store and I have a hundred, that means it's going to take me two years to sell them all, right? So the first one that I sell on eBay, it's like the furthest out food saver. It's almost like bringing forward a two year out sale to this month. And the fewer of them that I have, the less it makes sense to list it on eBay but that's no problem then you just take the listing down and with the auctions they automatically go down every week and so efficiency wise it's great it's friday saturday i'm working the store and i can just boom like renew all these listings renew 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 so i'm building my ebay inventory all just auction based timers and i'll make three or four or five new ones and then i'll renew all the old ones at least that sold sold for prices that i liked that i'm like yeah let's do that again these are the Tinicos, by the way. Some vacuums. They're nice. If you want one, hit me up. I didn't really like how much the Tinico sold for, though, so I'm not going to do that one on an auction again. And that's cool. But I still sold it, and that's still a Tinico sale that was at least two months away. At least. Maybe five months. Those sell pretty quickly, though. So that's why I'm not going to sell more of them through eBay, because I know I can sell those here. But... So, anyway, generally speaking, help sales. Let me climb this ladder for y'all. These over here, right there, these are these boot dryers. This is another piece of the testimony. Because I just sold a boot dryer yesterday. After fees, I made $40. So they paid with shipping 65 bucks. Had to pay for the shipping label. eBay takes a monster cut because they're criminals. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> and I made 40 bucks. Right now they are on sale here for $29. And I have not sold one yet in store. I just got them a few weeks ago. But I thought, you know, it's a great like dad Christmas gift. Those will probably sell decent in December. And my cost per one is, is like very minimal. I got them for a really, really good price. So I wasn't really worried about how fast they sell. I know it's I know it's not as cool as some other things you could buy, right? Boot dryers. But that's the cool thing about the auctions too, is like they can sell for more. You know, like these carts up there. I sell them in store for nine bucks a piece. And I'll sell them bulk in store for even seven dollars a piece. And I'll do an auction and on eBay they go for 20, 25 bucks. You know, plus shipping, you know, I'm like, wow, that's great. And you're like, why don't you just sell them all on eBay? It's like, because I have 1,800 cards. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. All right, got to help out another customer. Life is worse. God is love. Talk to y'all soon. How's it going?